Hi, it's Joseph and you are watching Joseph TV show. The story that I'm going to share with you of George Nish Vine. This story is a very shocking story and so painful. I don't know why people they are so heartless like this. And I don't know why people they revenge to the innocent people, especially when it comes to infections. Okay, let me quote it. HIV positive Ismail Juma leaks the photos of over 22 Kenyan women that he has slept with over time. Ismail claims he was on a revenge mission after a lady infected him with the deadly virus AIDS in Tropa Kilifi. You have heard for yourself from the horse mouth. We were complaining about Mike Olive. Mike Oliver, he did the same. But that, that one is a foreigner. What about this one? And he's a Kenyan. Even right now, I'm, I'm talking, I'm on tears because those are innocent ladies that their life have been taken by a stranger, by, by a stupid person. Just, just because he wanted to, to take revenge, that was not fair, and that is not right. According to the person who have passed through the religious, the religion, I don't think that that is not that is not humanity. This guy, I can relate him with a beast. This evil and I don't know why this happened to these innocent ladies. I'm so sorry my dear sisters what happened to you? Sorry. I feel so sorry for you. So guys just leave the comment down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for every update of every single video that I'm going to upload. And also like the video, share with your friends so that they can gain the knowledge. This is so sad. Till next time. Bye. And before I wind up, there is a screenshot that uh, I was, I took, I'm going to share with you. And these ladies, there's some of them, they really enjoyed to be this guy, but they didn't know that this guy was infected them. They didn't know that this guy was in mission, was in mission to infect them with AIDS. So just go through those screenshots just read it for yourself some they are in english some with are in some they are in swahili so for white people who they can't understand english uh, sorry swahili i hope we have kenyans who live there they can translate it to you if you have a kenyan or east africa guy he can translate it to you so sorry i feel i feel bad thank you guys have a nice time